CH1. You are listening at FameTV.info. In Guagong one old Madame Shen, who had been praying for blessings at the temple for many years, died. The news spread throughout the capital as if it had grown wings, in Guagong old Madame. Hadn't she already passed away? Some people expressed confusion. The Inguagong mansion has won over the royal family, and the Inguagong Wei Ching Lin is one of the best figures in the younger generation. But in recent years, the news of Inguagong old Madame Shen has never been heard of. Even so, hearing the news of the passing of Inguagong old Madame away, many people were stunned at first glance, she has lived in the temple for many years and prayed for blessings. She has never seen outsiders or appeared in front of people. Except for close people, no one remembers her. It's not surprising that you don't remember. The mansion has been in full swing these past few years. It is also because of this madam who devoted herself to worshipping Buddha. This madam, although she has been alive these years, it is no different from being dead. A certain noble lady slowly uttered meaningful words, No, you guys, you are just too young and take it for granted. Listening to this, I am reminded of a piece of news I heard a few years ago. It is said that this old madam was at odds with the Duchess. Is it because that's how you avoid going to the family temple? Probably not. I've seen the Duchess. She is the softest and gentlest lady I've ever known. How could she do such an unfilial thing? Someone immediately retorted, who knows? Knowing the face, but not the heart. Who knows? I don't think the Duchess is like that. They all say that appearance is born from the heart. You look at the capital, and in terms of appearance, who can match this lady? At a young age, she became the Duchess. Her husband treated her wholeheartedly. The back house was clean and there was no trouble at all. She also had sons and daughters under her knees. This lady had it all the best. She must be the darling of God. That's true. The last time the palace banquet was over, the Duke of Ing deliberately waited for her in front of the palace gate. I watched with my own eyes as the Duke helped her into the carriage. She was like an eyeball in his hand. So careful. In the whole capital, the man who treats his wife with great affection, if the Duke of Ing is second, then no one will dare to be the first. It can be seen that the Duchess has accumulated a lot of fortune in her past life. She will fall into the nest of blessings in this life. The focus of the discussion gradually shifted to the Lady of Inguagong who made the ladies of the capital envy and envy. New things and new characters are appearing in the city from time to time. An old lady who has lived silently for several years like an invisible person is not worth their attention, Shen Xi and Yan's soul floated around. As if being led by a thread, to a certain mansion in the city, she saw Chun Lu, who had been loyal to her all her life, collapse to the ground in grief. Then she reported the bad news of her passing to the young man on the chair of the Grand Master, that was her son. The son she was proud of all her life, and the son who personally sent her to the temple to spend the rest of her life, she stared at the man stubbornly, not letting go of every expression on his face. Seeing a trace of pain in the face of that incomparably determined and handsome face, his expression gradually became dazed. Until the delicate and sweet voice of a young woman came from outside the house, husband, the pain miraculously disappeared in an instant, understood. In the end, he threw such a sentence lightly at Chun Lu, who came to report the news. Then he got up and walked towards his sweetheart who came in gracefully. Knowing this will be the case, what are you looking forward to? She curled her lips sarcastically, suddenly, a strong wind blew. It instantly blew her away from the Ying Dong mansion. It was as if a huge vortex was sucking her, twisting her into the depths of the white light, she closed her eyes tightly, and the WH-8 inning sound of the wind roared in her ears that I don't know how long it took, the wind gradually subsided, replaced by unfamiliar voices, damn, why don't the male lead quickly get rid of this vicious mother and younger sister? His mother is so disgusting. The male protagonist quickly let her get the box lunch. The male protagonist is too indecisive. He let this mother and daughter pair jump up until now. 
you don't solve this evil pair first. But you still want to marry the female lead. This male protagonist is too useless. Give up the article. Plus one, hate the male protagonist, disgusting male protagonist's mother. Plus one zero zero eight six please let this scumbag go offline. Ah, isn't this evil mother dot in dot law not disgusting enough? ID card number. Pi, two, strings of inexplicable words entered her ears. Shen Xian Yen was stunned. The light suddenly shot towards her brain, and her pupils suddenly widened, scenes and scenes flashed in her mind quickly. There were even various narrations and voices in her ears. She was dazed at first and shocked. Then smiled wryly, and finally calmed down that IT turned out that she was actually the vicious mother. In law in the so. called favorite text, since it is a favorite, the mother. In law, who is the daughter. In law's natural enemy, the mother of the male protagonist will either die early or treat the female protagonist like her own daughter, you don't like the heroine. But you still want to live a good life. Why don't you go see your ancestors early? I'm sorry. According to the golden rule of, the protagonist is prosperous, and the anti-protagonist is dead, this, mother, must not end well, unfortunately, she is such a, mother, also known as the, vicious mother, dot in dot law, in the legend, there was a loud noise of, boom. And then another white light slashed towards her. Her eyes suddenly turned black, and her whole person fell sharply, Shen Xian Yen stared at the picture in the bronze mirror dumbfounded for a moment. This young face. She pinched the back of her hand in disbelief. The pain struck, and she suddenly woke up, not a dream. But why? Hadn't she already died in the temple, she cursed for a year, went mad for four years, and finally died miserably in her home temple. Her only son, however, was indifferent to her death that I asked there a more failed mother in the world than her. Recalling the past, she taunted the corners of her mouth and pulled out a smile that was uglier than crying, Madam, the eldest son has come to greet you. Chun Lu lifted the curtain and entered, reporting the news with a smile, looking at the loyal maid who was ten years younger, Shen Xian Yan's heart was suffocated. Her nose couldn't help feeling a little sour when she thought of how Chun Lu had never left her in her previous life, she quickly turned her face away to cover it up. After a while, she said indifferently, let him come in. Chun Lu gave her a glance in a strange way. In the past, what Madam looked forward to most was the time when the eldest son came to greet him. What happened today? So calm after a while, the young man in splendid clothes stepped in, the young boy's handsome face was tense tightly and his back was straight. He was only a ten-year-old child. But he had an awe that inspiring and inviolable majesty on his body, this is her only son, Wei Ching Lin, the eldest grandson of the Guogong mansion, who has been brought up and raised by his grandfather, the Duke of Ing since he was three years old, Shen Xian Yan once thought that her son always had an indifferent expression. It was his nature. So he seldom smiled at his relatives that IT wasn't until that beautiful girl appeared, it was also at that time that she knew that her indifferent and almost unsympathetic son also smiled so tenderly, and sometimes bent his proud back, Shen Xian Yen stared at him with complicated eyes. Seeing this son who she loved, resented and hated again, she thought she would be very excited, and could not help but ask him loudly, why do you treat me like that? Why let me die so lonely and desolate but in fact, her heart was quite calm. It was so calm that she just stared at him without blinking. Watched him respectfully greet her and stand in the center of the room, she thought that whatever amount of resentment, anger, and unwillingness would have been slowly consumed in the years when she went crazy. Maybe she still had a little bit of unwillingness before her death. So her soul drifted uncontrollably to the Guogong mansion, just to see how her only son would react to her death, however, she still overestimated herself and her position in his heart. After a long time without hearing her mother's usual ardent instructions, Wei Ching Lin raised his eyes suspiciously and looked at his mother on the Taisha chair. Then he immediately met with a pair of complicated and indescribable deep eyes, mother. He frowned invisibly and called out in confusion, Shen Xian Yen was calm. She lowered her head slightly. 
When she lifted it again, there was nothing strange on her face, sit down. Do you sleep well last night? Did you study your homework until midnight? You are still young. No matter how hard you work, you can't delay your body. The combination of work and rest is more useful than anything else. I have already fallen asleep at midnight. My mother's teachings are always in my son's heart. Wei Chen Lin sat up straight. His tone was respectful but slightly alienated. I in her last life, Shen Xian Yan would have felt sad and complained about her father. In. Law, who had taken her son away. But after she died once, she no longer had such thoughts. She just nodded and said warmly, Okay. Now it's the class time, right? Go to the class. Wei Ching Lin thought he would listen to the nagging for at least another quarter of an hour as usual. But unexpectedly he heard such a sentence. Yes. My son retires. He didn't think too much. He glanced at her, bowed respectfully, turned around and walked out, the tall and straight back of the young man gradually disappeared. Shen Xian Yen pursed her lips. Her eyes appeared a little blank, why? Does God think that what happened in her last life was not bad enough? Why let her do it all over again, this inexplicable chance of rebirth? She is not rare at all. For a person whose heart has been completely dead, what is the point of living, why should she live again? Doesn't it mean that people die like a lamp goes out? Why is she still here, the unresolved scenes of resentment from the previous life flashed in her mind like a revolving lantern. The pain in her heart quickly swept through her limbs and bones. She clutched her heart tightly as if a voice was constantly echoing in her ears. Why? Why? Why live again, she didn't know how long it took before she took a few deep breaths and tried to calm herself down, since God wants to let her do it all over again, then she will live again. At least, this time, live a good life for yourself, Chun Lu, I'll change my clothes. She called out loudly, Chun Lu entered in response, change one. Let's change to the snow blue one. Shen Xian Yen glanced at the dark green shirt and skirt held by Chun Lu. She shook her head and pointed to another set on the shelf, in Guagong, Duke of Ing, Imperial Duke who is brave. Guagong, Imperial Duke, is the highest military title based on military achievement, well, I don't know what it means either. It literally means ID number and pi. If somebody knows, don't hesitate to tell me. I'll fix it. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.